In early July, an osprey hatchling was observed struggling in its nest. It seemed to be unable to move, entangled in what was believed to be monofilament fishing line. The City of Coeur d'Alene's Parks Department decided to mount an exploratory effort to see if there was anything that could be done to help the struggling osprey. We were contacted by some citizens uh, who observed from our cameras that the, one of the birds seemed to be struggling in some way. And so uh, they reached out to us and gave us Janie's name and number. And so I contacted her and she came over uh, to look at our video feed, which is a little clearer, so she could see what was going on. That was on the 3rd of July. The 4th of July was obviously a holiday, and then on the 5th of July, Janie came to contact me again and said, you know, I'm a little concerned about the, the little guy. And so we made some calls, and I contacted Thorco, and um, Tom Klein with Thorco uh, contacted me via phone and said, we're in, we'll be right there. And so we coordinated that day and did the initial rescue on that day. After removing the fishing line from the young osprey and taking steps to hydrate the hatchling, it was determined that it needed some additional care to improve its health prior to being returned to the nest. Raptor biologist Janie Veltkamp of Birds of Prey took the chick to their facility for some healing and recuperation. Veltkamp explained what that process entailed. Well, that leg had to heal up. It was badly entangled in monofilament or fishing line, as you recall and it actually cut into the bird's leg all the way around the circumference of the leg. So we wanted to make sure he had good nerve function and muscular function to the foot and that that wound healed up. And it took about 12 days to do so. And he's a good bit smaller and remember the males are always smaller anyway in the bird of prey world. The females are always larger, so that's normal. She went on to share that there's a finite window that they were working under to get the young raptor healthy. They get their vision beginning at about three, three and a half weeks, and it becomes more developed as the days progress, starting at about four weeks. So that's why it's critical not to hand feed a young raptor. You don't want it imprinting on humans, thinking food comes from humans. And so you can get away with feeding them a bit till they get their vision. Then at about four weeks, you need to find a puppet or stay out of the way when you feed them. On July 20th, the city of Coeur d'Alene and Veltkamp decided that it was time to return the young male, now named Little McEwen, back to the nest. I got a call from Janny this Monday that Little McEwen is doing well and would like to reintroduce him into the nest. So I reached out to Thorco one more time and they said, we're in again, we want to help. Joined by retired Idaho fish and game biologist Wayne Melquist, who now, as part of the team, will take the opportunity to band Little McEwen and his two sisters so their lives may be tracked and chronicled. What it tells us is where these birds are migrating to, where they're wintering. We've gotten a little over a hundred returns, band returns, and that information suggests they're wintering in west central Mexico and Central America. It was decided, due to high winds and the fear that the sisters may get alarmed and attempt to fly out of the nest, that Melquist would remove the remaining chicks from the nest and perform the banding on the ground. This gave an opportunity for a number of folks, young and old, that were visiting McEwen Park that day to see an osprey in the wild up close. Very up close. So we've had birds that we banded in their back here, and we see quite a few banded birds, and they probably are. So they have a high degree of attraction to the area in which they were hatched and fledged. Females will, will venture out a little further away from the area in which they were uh, fledged from, than males, but there is a high degree of fidelity for the area in which they were hatched. Now they obviously are going to come right back to it. They may be down at the other end of the lake, or they may be at some adjacent lake. It could be anywhere, could be on Lake Ponderé. If you see or find a banded bird, Melquist urges you to report it by calling the number on the band or contacting Idaho Fish and Game via the internet. You can go to the uh, bird banding laboratory, uh, just Google U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service bird banding lab. And they'll, what they'll do is they'll send you a little certificate if you want. So say here's the bird and, and tell you a little bit about the, uh, where the bird's from. With the banding complete, Veltkamp headed up to return the two sisters and little McEwen back to the nest. On the way up, there was more fishing line discovered. We had some remaining monofilament that we couldn't see because we weren't on that corner of the nest last time. So as soon as we came up over the nest, I saw the monofilament there entangled and Nick was able to get all of it out today.
With a successful return and reintroduction, Mom came back to check on the chicks. It looks like a safe return for little McEwen. However, there are some continuing concerns. As the nest watchers watch the cam, we're looking to make sure the youngster gets shaded by Mom, takes the food that Mom offers, and that there's not any sibling rivalry between the bigger females and the younger male. So that's what we'll be looking for. The city of Coeur d'Alene is grateful for this successful team effort. I just want to tell, tell everybody thanks. I mean, this team here sitting in our office is uh, actually just wonderful. I mean, I just had, had no idea they were out there. It was nice that the, the folks that were the Osprey watchers let me know that they're there. It's a, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing we've done, and I just thank everybody for it. On August 1st, with little McEwen fully introduced back into the family, one of the sisters decided it was time to fledge. At approximately 7.45 a.m., she took her inaugural flight. 